Everybody's got their red pen out. Everybody's done with this board. You good, Mason? Yes, I think so. Oh, that's the one you had in your math book, right? Yes. Is it okay? Yep, that's the right one. Okay, all right. Number one, Linda had 64 cents, she spent 36 cents. How much money did she have? 29. Not 29. Oh. Jack, 28. 28, and you should have the cent symbol after it. 28. Number one is 28 cents. I put Number two, Paul put a 39 cent stamp and a 25 cent stamp on the envelope. What does the total value of stamps on the envelope? So you had to add them. 64 cents should be number two with the cent symbol to see with the line through it after the number. Number three. Subtract $5.75, take away $4.56. $1.20? Nope. $1.19. It should be a dollar sign, one decimal point, one nine. Number four, you're adding. Six dollars and eighty nine cents plus four dollars and fifty six cents. Eleven dollars and forty five cents. Forty five. Forty five cents. Number four. That was number four. Eleven forty five was number four. Yep. Yeah. You can fix it. Round twelve dollars to the nearest ten dollars, which is ten dollars. Round three hundred and twenty-two dollars to the nearest hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. Write the words for twenty-four dollars. So you should have wrote twenty-four dollars. Twenty. Remember when we were writing in the twenties, we put a hyphen. Four, and then the word dollars. That's what it should look like. If you forgot the hyphen, just add it. Number eight. Lee wants to buy a snack that costs one dollar. He has a quarter, two dimes, one nickel, and four pennies. That's cents. His friend gave him a quarter. Does Lee have enough money to buy a snack? No, he only has seven nine cents. You forgot the nickel. It did ask you to explain, so you should have put no and then why, because he doesn't have enough money, or he only has 79 cents and it costs a dollar. Yep, that works. Cents, right? You use the cent sign? It's a cent sign. Lee? It's a he because his friend. But number nine, it's not that big a deal, guys. Class started at a quarter to nine in the morning. What time is this in digital form? 8.45 a.m. Oh, yes, 8.45 a.m. Remember when we talked quarter two, it's pointing at the nine. Quarter after, it's pointing at the three, right? Thank you.
A number. What are the next four numbers? Counting by fours backwards. Jack. Exactly. How about the 11? No, not 48. 49. Yes, 49, 42, 35, 28. You're counting backwards by seven. Yes. Six dollars makes sense. All right, adding and subtracting. The first number, 12, is six dollars and eight cents. Yes. So it should be a dollar symbol six, decimal point zero eight. Thirteen. One hundred and thirty-five. Make sure you have a dollar sign in front of it. Yes. Number 14. Micah? Can you say 135? No, number 12, $6.08. So it should look like this. Ninety-five. 14 is 95. 13 was $135. 10. 15 is $312. Okay. Stop. Stop. 15 is $312. 16. 29. 17. You should have a dollar sign because it, that's how it started the problem. 0, 52. You wrote it like this? That is acceptable, too, but you typically want to use the same symbols that are given in the problem, okay? Number 18. What is the missing add -in? 20. How about 19 missing add -in? 10. And the letter for which one? C. Nope. 19 was 10. Write how many you got wrong, if you got any wrong. Who can solve my problem for me? How many triangles are there? Number 11 is 49. Yes, 49. Then it should be 42, 35, 28. Awesome, Aubrey. Good job. What? There's, there's more than three triangles. You are wrong. There's one, two, three. This. Triangle to this all triangle. No, this whole half is a triangle too. I know. That's one, two, three. And this one is one two without the line. Uh, working on your money packet if you're if you're done with extra math, second grade, you should be working on your money packet. I can see about it later, but right now, no. All right. We are going to arrange numbers. I'm going to write three numbers on the board. You're going to put them in order of greatest to least. All right, what's the order for these three numbers, greatest to least? Third graders. Sophia? 81. Then Second graders, you're not talking. If you're done with extra math, you need to be working on your money packet.
How about this one? Put it in order from greatest to least. Yes. Yes. What if I have a chart that looks like this? This chart can help us compare numbers if we need to see them. Which number is the greatest? Which number here is the greatest? Zach, Jack? Yeah, in the whole chart, which number is the greatest? No, read the number. Hundreds, tens, ones. That's a three. Yes. All right. Do you guys feel like you understand greatest and least? Yep. Okay. On number seven in your book, you're going to be getting a chart that has temperatures that you're going to have to put in order from greatest to least, okay? You just have to write the temperatures, but make sure you use the degrees Fahrenheit symbol after each of the numbers. Otherwise, I think everything on here is stuff you have done before. Oh, and then on 20, it wants to you, you to use a comparison symbol. Comparison symbols are these. Okay? Those are comparison symbols. Um, all right. So you have your assignment is page 150 and 151, 1 through 20. Then you can work on your math packet. If you haven't done extra math yet, you need to do that. Before, and then you have handwriting page 37 to work on as well. Second graders, how's the money going?